today what I've got is a refurbished Chromebook. In this box here, I started opening it actually a little bit, thinking that there would be a box inside the box, but because it's refurbished and I forgot that it was refurbished until I opened it, um, there isn't. So let's go into what we have here. On the side here, there is a power brick. And then we have this amazing uh, marvel of packaging engineering. Um, this is amazing, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for this Chromebook. Okay, so this is the Chromebook itself. First impressions of it, um, it's heavier than I was expecting. This is the Acer 15.6 inch Chromebook. It's a refurbished model that I got off of Amazon uh, for about $300. Uh, it's got an Intel Pentium processor inside, which is amazing because I didn't know they still even made those. Uh, it is the N4200, which according to the Amazon listing is a quad core processor. And uh, it's got four gigs of RAM, which seems really, really low. Uh, but I think from what I've been seeing looking around, that's really the best you're gonna get uh, in terms of uh, Chromebooks. And there are 32 gigs of storage on board, which is really small, but it is a Chromebook after all. And that is uh, the beauty of it. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's open it up and see what we have in here. It is a 15 inch screen, 1080, uh, as these stickers will indicate. Here is the Pentium sticker. Um, I've never had a Chromebook before. I've touched them, I've played with them a little bit, um, but never actually used one on a regular basis. So I'm gonna try and do that here, uh, log into this thing and see if I can get some work done with it. Uh, some of the things that I'm looking for getting out of this is I want to be able all our, our like back office stuff and our emails handled through Google Drive for Business. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in Dropbox, Box uh, as well. And um, that's kind of like the day-to-day -day workings of what we do. For graphics, we use the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. I'm not gonna be able to get that on here. And we use a lot of PowerPoint, uh, which I'm not gonna be able to get on here, but I am gonna try and use slides for a little bit. So that's kind of part of the experiment too is can I get through what I need to do using a Chromebook? It's more of an experiment than anything. So let me get logged in here and see what we've got. Now this keyboard, or this monitor, does lay down all the way flat, although when it does, it tilts up the keyboard a little bit, but you get to do this, and let's go. Let's get started. I'm gonna sit, connect to the guest network here. Two finger scroll does not work here, and, but this is touch enabled, so that's really nice. Let's pick that up. All right, we're connecting and we're getting started. So uh, by logging into the Chrome OS uh, with my Chrome credentials or my Gmail credentials, I should be able to get my calendar, my email, all of uh, the documents that I need for getting cost estimates out to clients, uh, figuring out invoicing, getting my scheduling and all that other material prep ready so a lot of my business I run through a Chrome browser already so I think that part I should be able to handle fine let's talk a little bit more about what we got in terms of the keyboard and the layout here we've got a trackpad in the middle feels relatively good and uh, I'll have to use it a little bit more to figure out if I like it or not um, speakers on each side of the grill which is a relatively good layout but the way I work I would prefer to have the keyboard shifted over and have a number pad in there um, with the amount of real estate that they've allotted to input here. But I know that I'm in the minority position on that one, so that's okay. Some interesting things here, because there's no Apple key and there's no uh, Windows key, the control button and alt button on this left-hand side are uh, comically large, or as big as the shift here. Uh, here's that search button that I was looking for instead, so I'm not sure how you would caps off, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. Uh, just some things to get kind of used to. Uh, the function keys are also very different up here. There are no function keys, but instead we've got uh, different maximize, see all the applications that are open. The screen is large and bright, uh, a little bit glossy, so a lot of reflections here with all the studio lights that we've got going on, but the image is nice and crisp. We've got a webcam up front. Let's see, take another look around it. So the, the edges, in terms of when this thing is closed, the edges are chamfered. Uh, and they look really nice, although this one's a little bit dirty. 
but it is a refurbished unit. Uh, I ended up paying less than $300 for this, so the price is certainly right. And if I can get a lot of work done on it for the price, I think that's going to be really interesting. Um, but the main thing, but the main thing that I wanted to use this for, and where I'm going to go with this, and why would a trial consultant ever get a Chromebook? is because I think there's a new use case scenario that's going to become more important uh, in the future. And that's for attorneys that want to use some sort of trial presentation tool during depositions or mediations. Maybe things that don't require a hot seater, whether that's an in-house hot seater, a paralegal, or a consultant like me getting brought in. I think that that's going to become more important as depositions and mediations become more complicated but the budget for the presentation side of that might not become bigger. The internet requirement or the requirement that trial presentation software not be internet dependent uh, doesn't really apply to depositions because depositions are going to be for the most part in law offices or doctor's offices where uh, you're going to have access to Wi-Fi. And if it's at a mediation facility or an arbitration facility, that place should likely have Wi-Fi available to it as well. And so what I'm thinking about is using a web-based OS, basically Chrome OS, with a web-based tool. The one that jumps to the forefront for me is Nextpoint. Nextpoint has a theater uh, functionality, kind of like a mini trial presentation tool built into it. And so I'm thinking about how can I use a web-based interface that I can work on any device and send anyone into the field with one of these to go take a deposition anywhere else. So that's ultimately where I'm going with this, but the first stop, step is I gotta get used to Chrome a little bit in terms of working in day to day, and then I'm gonna start playing around in next point so that way I can see if I can use this uh, instead of a trial presentation tool um, at a deposition or a mediation slash arbitration. So that's all coming. If you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe so that way you can get notifications as to when those videos come out. If you have any questions about Chrome generally or about this laptop specifically, please feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to talk to you guys down there.